Today on the show, we have the new Trail Hunter. That's right, the new Tacoma is in the house, and I'm pretty excited about this because this is the first time seeing it in person, kind of getting to actually touch a truck like this. And the thing is amazing, and we have Adam with Toyota over here who's gonna kind of answer some of my questions about this thing. First off, welcome to the show. Thank you. Adam, why a Trailmaster? What, you guys own the segment, let's be honest. You own the mid-size truck segment. Everybody else kind of copies what you do, but why, why go deeper into it with the Trailmaster? Yeah, so you know we, we have great heritage there, right? You yeah. go all the way back to Ivan Stewart and a lot of the great things that we've done. Mm -hmm. So we've offered the TRD Pro for a long time, mm -hmm. right? And, and that's really focused on that fast Baja style racing. Right. You know, but we also see we've had a TRD off-road and other things like that where people really love our trucks. They love to take it on the trails and get out there. Um, so this is an opportunity for us to, to level up a little bit mm -hmm. and focus on that overland, focus on the wheeling community. Yeah. You know, which is which is so interesting because usually import brands don't they don't jump into American hobbies it seems like they sort of play with them you know you know the sports cars a little bit but for for an import brand to really go all in because once again you guys are the leader of the segment so it makes sense you can take chances like the manual transmission you're able to take chances because your volume is so high but the, to do a full loaded out kitted out truck like this and then you partnered with ARB which is very exciting uh, and I was happy to hear that ARB developed parts it wasn't just like you guys like hey can we borrow your name they developed yeah. parts of this truck and they wanted to be a true partner of this truck um starting off kelly we've got a snorkel over here why a snorkel on these trucks well this is we'll call this a high air desert <laughs> intake right so we don't recommend taking your you know jumping in the river yes, but you yes. know this will help on the trails get you that clean air mm -hmm. So that's why it's mounted up there. Gets that nice clean air for the truck. And it actually fits the truck. Where some of the, there's another brand out there that I don't feel like they put enough development time in theirs. You guys seem to like, no, this matches. It looks like you're gonna have nice visibility. For, it doesn't cut into anything like that. Yep. Uh, the color on this thing is freaking amazing. What color is this? This is oxide bronze. Okay. So this this will be the hero color for the Trail Hunter. You know, we've had it around on some other vehicles, but mm -hmm. it really works really well with when this, this truck. In this Texas light, all the, all the shimmer to it just yeah, looks perfect. Trail Hunter, interesting name. Now we've seen, this has been teased. You guys teased this at Correct. SEMA. I was at the SEMA when they did the full size truck version of this. It was really cool. I was so happy because people have been begging. When they saw these, the, the Tundra concepts and stuff, they were like, please give us this. And you guys followed through with that, which is great. I love the badging of it, the kind of compass. It says what the truck is without having to say, you know, I think, I think any person that has no off-road experience goes, oh, compass off-road it's, it's just built for that uh carrying around the front i like that you guys actually give it big fenders as well because Correct. you know the audience they're going to go take this truck out they're going to scrape against trees or brush or whatever and it looks like it would actually be pretty removable that if you had to replace it, it doesn't look like it'd be too much though you guys don't want people replacing parts um i force max engine what is going on with that yep so we the the tacoma will come in a, in a gas and a hybrid mm -hmm. variant right mm -hmm. these are performance hybrids it's, yes it's all about towing and increased capacity so the iForce Max is going to be a 2.4 turbo with that big electric motor to mm -hmm. assist the truck, right? So you're getting better MPG, you're getting uh, better horsepower. You're getting V6 towing. power, yeah. like with a four cylinder, which is, I love, I think you guys are Toyos 100%. I'm not blowing smoke up there, but I think seriously, you guys are on what hybrid should be right now for trucks. Anybody can do a plug in and yeah, you get cool tax credits, but I think you guys are giving us a smaller displacement for, we know emissions, you need smaller displacement engines, smaller cylinders, less cylinders. And the hybrid technology just gives you, because in the Tundra, the Tundra is the one full-size truck we would actually own right now, because I love that setup with it. You get V8 fuel, but yet, you know, fuel economy is a little bit better. But walking around, we got these cool wheels. These are exclusive to this, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yep, exclusive to this. We got 18s, 33-inch tires. You got forged upper upper control arms, old man EMU suspension all around. And again, yeah. this is a partnership where we worked with them yes. from day one. And you talked about passion, you know, uh, so Sheldon Brown's the chief engineer. He's a, a off-road enthusiast, mm -hmm. right? Designed in Arcalti Studios in California, engineered and developed in Michigan. You know, it's built here in North America. So right. it's, it really is a North America centric truck because we're, we're passionate about it. Right, and it's, it's, it's I, I have heard rumors in the past that, you know, Japan finally let North America kind of have more of a say in this. And this is definitely a reflection of the American buyer, what they want. Uh, 33 inch tires, of course, I know you can't answer this, but everybody is gonna ask as soon as they get it, well, can I put 35s on it? Guys, just buy one, cut it up yourself, figure that one out. Because I get that question 100% of the time. Well, can I put, can we put 40s on it? You're like, 
let's get the truck on market first. But yeah, speaking yeah, of right out, out of the box, it's it's really good out of the box. Uh, front end, I love the old school Toyota badging of this thing. That that seems to be the one thing I see aftermarket. Everybody pulls the grills off. They don't want the 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 arms logo deal. They want the old school badging. So I'm so happy that you guys carried it over with that. Looks like you're getting some fog lights. Can you tell us about visibility with this thing with lighting? Yeah, so obviously all LED, we've got rigid fog lights, again, another great partnership. Mm -hmm. So inside the cabin, we can go from clear, which is like kind of your street driving, you know, for the dusty trails, you can switch that to amber. Oh, wow. Uh, so it's a selectable inside. We have the light bar uh, that, that is activated with the high beams are on. Mm -hmm. So again, great visibility up front, you know, again, l leaning on the aftermarket, finding out what people want to do and yeah. bringing it to them as well, a factory option. Stuff like this is cool because this is like, real off-roaders overland guys they always want to add light yeah. and you guys are giving them the best lights i mean rigid's the best out there for for led lighting so you're giving them already the best option for that which is really really nice um obviously no driving characteristics of this thing yet i know toyota is very excited to get this thing launched out Absolutely. um any details of well i know it's what late Late, late this year. Late this year, late. we'll start seeing some of these rolling around, and then the hybrid spring of next year, right? Is that right? Correct. Uh, can we look inside this thing? Yeah, yeah, let's go. So, you guys know off roading, so you clearly grab handles now. There's things that you're giving customers that, because you know, the roads are bumpy. You, anything about off roading, there's no pavement, there's no nothing easy to it. Uh, seating, I know that was the number one complaint of the last generation, was they felt like you sat low. Uh, did you guys handle this? Or did you take this into account now? How is seating in this truck? Yeah, I think a lot of people like that they can, you know. You're not, not hitting their head now. Now they're hitting their head, you know. And, so, <laughs> and yeah, and, and it's all new inside, all, all new redesigned. Again, our Calty Studio laid this out yeah. for optimum use of, from our customers, but also at the same time, right? Like it's still very driver centric, mm -hmm. off road focused. And it still feels it still feels like a Tacoma. That's that's the cool thing about it is it's a generational upgrade to this vehicle, but it still feels at home a little bit. Uh, seating, the seating, Kelly, these seats are ridiculous in this thing. They look amazing. Look like the side bolstering, like you can be on the trail. A lot of thought put into, hey, people don't want to bounce around. They need to be stable. Um, I, the interesting plastics and stuff that you guys have used, which I like, of course, the big monitor. You guys were known yep. for that with the Tundra, and put that big monitor in there. Anything, um, anything about the the system there that we need to know? Is there any trail maps? Anything? Are you guys might be developing coming up or yeah not, not at this time you know we you know again biggest biggest in the class segment for yeah. uh for the this 14 inch screen mm -hmm. you know some other great stuff that we've seen on tundra like the the backup trailer backup yes. all yes. those things uh, you know you have your re rear locker button right here right you can switch between all your modes. too high yeah four four low and then you know fun exciting trail tech is stabilizer bar disconnect yes you can, you can push that at the push of a button significantly increase your flex on trail yes and we may have tested that on other brands and we do love that feature it's it's a it's a game changer for ifs systems it gives them just a little more more flexibility where you know some of the the old style brands that ride awful you know it is what it is you get that bumpy ride and sure you can flex but this gives you the options of a great ride and if you need a little extra flex you get it you're getting it looks like a jbl sound system this thing now this was a big buzz the speaker pops out like yep. you can take that out right exactly so this is uh you know part of part of the system but you know if you want to go to a hike get to the beach yeah. whatever, wherever you can take it with you bluetooth jbl speaker yeah which is that that's pretty awesome and i was wondering how does that thing not bounce around but i hear you clicking it yeah, in there so it sounds like it's in integrated yes um overall i think this thing is this thing's a home run i didn't even realize there's a digital screen in this thing yep so you can you can switch it all around you know we have different view monitors you know this is great when you're you're parking mm -hmm. uh you know this is for the trails you can see uh, you know, yeah what's it around uses you? the cameras to see what you've driven over to see what's going to be behind you <laughs> as it turns off <laughs> um but uh, yeah the 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 trail camera is fantastic. Yeah, right. So if you're nice. worried about hitting your center diff on a rock, well, you know what where that rock is based on the cameras, mm -hmm. so you can navigate around. Really it. nice, and the nice feature of actually getting a very HD looking rearview mirror. That's nice, and it makes a difference because sometimes you load stuff in the back. Your vehicle could be full of stuff, and you, I'm assuming the camera's a little higher, so it's out of the way and gives you a good line of sight for the rear of this thing. Yeah, and you know when you got something in the bed, right? You're hauling. You, you know you can push this button when you're driving. And and it mm -hmm. will show you the bed. Oh, nice. Yeah. That, that's very nice. And then it, you can also get the trailer cam, right? So you're pulling a big box trailer mm -hmm. or whatever. 
We have this uh, camera that bolts to your trailer and Bluetooths so you can see it here wow. on the center display. Wow, and of course the, the display is so freaking huge. Uh, yeah. Even a blind person like me, I think, could see out of that. It looks like uh, you guys have thought about the, the passengers as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice, comfortable, right? And you can see that this there's nice foam here. Obviously, uh, you know, we have storage behind the seats and things like that. You know, pretty pretty typical normal. Yeah. Tacoma. This one has the JBL subwoofer here, but we have storage on that side as well. And if you don't get the JBL system, you'll have yeah. more storage there. Yeah. yeah. USBs, Cs in the back. You know, you've got five of them in this truck. Wow. Plus a, a big wireless charger. So lots of attention to detail for the customer. Well, one detail is Kelly cup holders. Uh, there has to be a ton of cup holders in this thing, right? I'm sure you don't have the figure right in front of you, but every truck now seems to, there's a battle of cup holders. And it looks, I see a couple there, a couple in the door. Yeah. Looks like you guys, have, uh, for fluids, you've thought about everything. Yep, yeah. well, you know, if you have kids, right? There's water, <laughs> there's milk, there's, you know, whatever soda that, you're drinking, a coffee, right. Right? all those things. Now you can take it all with you. Right, so now let's go to the back of this because that's where the ARB stuff stands out. And I really want you to uh, talk about this. So tailgate of this thing, um, is it, can we open this? Yeah, yep. So it's all put, it's not actually, it's a button there. It's electronic, which is nice. Look at that. Quietly uh, comes down there. The bed of this, is it your, uh, is it your technology y'all been using now where it's not fully steel? It's what, uh, uh, not carbon fiber. It's what? composite. Yeah, composite, composite, yes. Yeah. Uh, which is nice because it will take, definitely take a beating of this thing. Um, we got an air compressor back here. What's going yeah, on? We got the, for the trail hunter, you got a onboard air, right? So you don't have to put it under the engine bay. Easy access here. Obviously, this is brand new. Yeah, just, <laughs> and, and the kit will come with the hose. Yeah, and yeah. Which is that's to, another thing. To air down and, and re-air after you hit the trails. Yeah, and you want to uh, you want a softer ride, so you definitely want to air down sometimes. And it's always well, there's someone else I got to go buy. So you guys have really packaged everything into this. Yeah. Um, as far as like, I like that it's it's very like, flat. There's no like trying to be fancy, putting all these humps in this thing. You guys just thought about cargo room here, and it looks like you gave the maximum amount of cargo room possible. Yeah, and on the Trail Hunter and Tacoma, you can get a five or six foot bed, right? This is the yeah. five foot bed. Yeah. So if you want, you're overlanding, you want more space. Yeah. You know, you want a bigger rack. We we have that six foot bed for you as well. We also have a 2400 watt inverter, right there. So that's a you know house plug. So that that's fridge that's microwave you want popcorn on the trail sure. why not Let's sure uh, margaritas maybe at night who knows <laughs> who knows uh but is this electronic up too yeah. oh that's right on the sides yeah. i forgot so just like the like the tundra we got the the fun button over here there's also a button in the cab so you want to okay. unload you know i don't know pick up groceries I don't yeah know. yeah do it from inside now one of the big things that that was the partnership with arb and it looks like a well thought out bumper thought about the trails hey we don't want to drag or the least amount of drag we can you're getting big tow hooks toyota sometimes takes a little heat for tow hooks because of for whatever reason it's not for us to ask but we're getting nice rear tow hooks in this thing it makes a big difference um arb why well i mean they're they're icons in the, in yes. the industry, right? They're well res, well respected and mm -hmm. their stuff is fantastic, yes. right? So it's a natural partnership. This is where customers are going anyway. So mm -hmm. between ARB, Old Man Emu, uh, and Rigid, you yeah. know, we, you've went with, with the best of the best for every company you could partner with, which is nice. It's not like, you know, well, we'll just throw something on there. You guys, like I said earlier, they, they built this stuff. It, it wasn't like you guys said here. Yeah, yeah, and, and it was a partnership and they were integrated as we were developing the truck. Nice, nice. And of course, ARB Australia, you think of rugged off-road trucks, you do definitely think of Australia. So towing capacity on this thing, where are we at with this truck? So Tacoma can go up to 6,500 pounds. Okay, which is, is not class leading, but it's right where it needs to be. And I think sometimes class leading brand, other brands kind of BS their way through like, oh yeah, the most max ever. You guys seem to be like, no, we're realistic. Let's 6,500, we will pull a nice trailer. Let's be honest, that will still give you lots of options. Um, well, we can't wait to uh, test drive one of these things. Sadly, this one's not ready to be driven just yet, but uh, whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or this Tacoma, please let me drive. <laughs> this has been your All-Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. We're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.
right now.